Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today I'm going to be talking all about Pandora Me, which are the little link bracelets that Pandora came out with a year or two ago. They've been around for a while, but this is my first time ever owning one. Uh, before Christmas, I had to have the pearl version of the Pandora Me bracelet. So it's pearls on the front and links on the back. And I have been wanting this bracelet since it first came out, but it is not the least expensive of all the Pandora bracelets. It's not the most. The rose gold one is much more expensive. Um, and I'm just not a huge fan of the tiny little links, uh, charms that go on these links. There are a few that I would like that I still want to pick up, but the whole chain concept just wasn't necessarily the first thing that I wanted to purchase of all the Pandora pieces that are available. But when this bracelet went on sale, 50% off at my local store, I ran to get it because those pearls, pearl is my birthstone and I wanted this one so bad. I just didn't want to spend the money. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm sorry. You guys get it. If we were millionaires, it would be bad. We would have, it would be bad. So, I picked up this Pandora pearl bracelet. I have worn it literally every day since I picked it up over a month ago. And for Christmas, my brother got me the little heart rose gold link that you can exchange. So that is the whole point of Pandora Me is that the links will open. You can put charms on them. You can switch them out for other links. They're very customizable. Um, and so instead of the regular carabiner style clasp, he got me the pretty rose gold heart clasp. <gasps> oh, I wanted it so bad, especially because I have the heart clasp bracelet that I wear all the time with my travel charms and I wanted them to match. So after Christmas, I went up to the same store. They had their entire Pandora Me collection on sale for $15. So I got another heart clip for $15. I got the uh, silver CZ double link for $15. And your girl got the rose gold link bracelet for $15. I might, you guys, I might have screamed in the store. I was so excited. I have been loving this bracelet so much more than I thought I would, especially because while it is meant to be styled with those little tiny Pandora knee charms, and I'm sure they're adorable, I really want the rose gold ladybug one and the new miniature pink and rose gold heart one that's coming up for Valentine's Day to wear on my new rose gold bracelet. I think those two little ones together would look so darling on one of these links. Um, I mainly really like to wear them stacked in my bracelet with one or two showcased dangled charms on that heart or the carabiner. I wore them on the carabiner before I got the heart and it was just as sweet. So I'm going to bring you all in close. I'm going to put my new heart link on my new heart bracelet <laughs> and I'm going to show you how I've been styling the pearl one to wear for winter with my travel bracelet and we're gonna play around with a few styles for the rose gold one which I haven't worn yet um, I still want to get those two little Pandora me charms to permanently probably go on here they'll probably go on one of the straight links and then I will probably continue to wear these um, by just switching out a showcase dangle charm on the heart clip to go with whatever stack I'm wearing and that's the main reason I'm really enjoying these is that whatever bracelet I'm wearing, I have a lot, I can put this pearl bracelet or this rose gold bracelet or both, they look really pretty together, tried that already, and add in a single charm to showcase with that other bracelet. And I really am enjoying that, um, just the, the stackability of them that they go with everything. So again, I'm gonna stop talking, I know you're bored and bring you in to show you the bracelets and the charms and how I've been wearing them. When eventually I get the tiny Pandora Me charms that I would like, we will do another look at those. But for now, we're just showing the two bracelets, the links, and the charms I am wearing on them. 
All right, y'all. So here is the first style. I really love this oh, pearl bracelet with that heart clasp and that single dangle. So this is the Santorini charm that I picked up in Greece. You can see I've got my whole travel bracelet here. And this Santorini charm is one of the few non-Pandora bracelet charms that I own. I don't necessarily want it on my snake bracelet, which will mess up the warranty. Plus, Santorini is so far my absolute favorite place I've ever been in my entire life. So I love showcasing that charm. And I just love how that looks. Isn't that sweet? It shows it off. It keeps it off my bracelet and it just adds to the look. Now, for all the links that I've purchased, I still have not found a double link with an opener so that I can replace this. This guy doesn't quite work here because I need an opener here. So I'm gonna figure it out. I have, I have this guy, I have a single clip here. I think I just need one more of these and they are $10 right now. This is just a link with the open spot and I'll be able to replace that clip. Um, but in the meantime, I don't hate the carabiner. I just prefer the heart. Look how sweet that is. I really like the look of two charms on here. I want the triple dingle with the little pearl detail to go with them. I think that is so sweet. But for the winter months, I have been wearing the snowman with him just because he's kind of generic and snowy and I think he looks so pretty with the pearl. Look how sweet that is. I think that's so pretty. I've been stacking this one with either my travel bracelet or my Christmas bracelet and he works both ways. Of course, you could switch out that Santorini heart for a different Christmas charm, but I think two dangle charms on that heart is so sweet and I really love that it's just like, showcased, you know? So the pearls are freshwater cultured pearls. I am sure that that means they are man-made. You can see here there was one, two, three open links. So I could put the little Pandora Me charms on any of these open links. This one is not open. So this one is permanently connected to the end of the Pandora Me pearl bracelet here. This side, you can see I've connected my heart to that side, so it is loose. And technically you could have this cut off, but who wants to permanently damage it unless you really hated it. So I've thought about it because I kind of would like to replace now that I have the rose gold version. I'd almost like to replace all the silver links on this with the rose gold links when I want to wear it with a rose gold bracelet. And I have enough silver links that I could cut this one off still use silver links when I want to, but switch them out entirely for the rose gold ones. It's just, I mean, it's a big, it's a big commitment to permanently cut that off. So in the meantime, here is, here is my rose gold links. Now this one, it actually had two more sets of two links that I've already taken off because it was really big. Whatever size this one was, was bigger than I needed. But the carabiner, here we go. It links up to Where the links are. It's getting dark in here. The sun's going down. I'm going to finish this video. There we go. It is permanently connected to one, two, three, four, five. So that is a long stretch of bracelet. And so if you want to take this carabiner clip off, you have to have enough links to still have enough space, which I do not.
Now I could potentially add back in the rose gold links and um, the silver links, but the problem here is that you always end up with two links that don't match anything. <laughs> so we've got this one and then we do have, we have a single um, silver link that would work. So I am dropping stuff left and right. Just need to get another single, either rose gold, probably a rose gold and silver link. And that would fit me right there. And I don't hate that. If I had one of these single, and you can get the single links. But this is when I say, when I'm talking about when I say that these bracelets are completely customizable. You can completely take them apart, add in new links, different links. You can leave them the same, wear them exactly how they are from the store. I thought this rose gold cat that I just got from Christmas would look really cute on here. So that is probably how I'm going to style this one for a little while. But I really do think that this guy I'm going to most likely wear stacked all the time. I don't know that I'd ever wear him on his own. So I think, like I said, I'm going to get those two little Pandora Me charms, the ladybug and the heart that can just permanently live on one of these links. Either way, I think you have figured out that the heart link is definitely my favorite of all the links. And I just think he's so elegant. I even really like these two stacked together. When I wear these two stacked together, which I've only done once, I did take the dangle off of this charm bracelet, the Pandora Mew, the rose. I don't necessarily like dangles from both hearts when they are stacked. I think that looks a little messy. But again, that is all a personal preference. So how do you style your Pandora Me bracelets? I am sure as I get more pieces that I will learn what I like and kind of grow my collection. But... For $15, I literally spent $15 on the bracelet, $15 on the heart, and $15 on these two links. So I spent $45 on everything right here to d double my collection. <laughs> and this bracelet, if I'd had the charm instead of these two links, was $269 online. So I think that is a great value, and I am very happy with it. I hope you liked this video. Leave me a comment down below on how you wear your Pandora Me and what you think I should get next for this little collection that I apparently started. I don't know that I will ever uh, grow this to have a whole collection, but I do really like that I now have the option to purchase Pandora Me charms if I want to. I know when I was traveling in Estonia, they had the little blue uh, bird Pandora Me charm that they said is one of their uh, most representative of their like country's bird. And they don't have an exclusive charm. So I, I wanted to pick that up, but I did not have a bracelet to wear it on. Even though it's not an exclusive, I did like that it represented their country. So I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. One last look that I've really been enjoying and I almost forgot about is to use one heart carabiner and put both bracelets stacked on top of each other off the same heart. And I think that is so sweet. You can put the one or two uh, spotlight charms right on the heart. And then I've just got my pearl open bangle on top, which is not Pandora, but I love stacking with almost everything. But 
It is just a sweet, simple look. You do have to kind of set it up beforehand. And then it's just as simple as using two of the open links on one on each bracelet to put, put it on. There you go. I hope you liked this. Bye for real.